So now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go ahead and I am going to make a superhero. So it'll be best to go ahead and start with a pencil, but for the video, I'm gonna draw with a marker so that you can see and understand. And I have this little thing here, and that's just to help me with the circle. So I'm gonna use it as a stencil for the head of my superhero. is I'm going to use basic shapes in order to make my superhero. So I really like to wear dresses and I like to have a lot of accessories. So what I'm going to do is I am going to make a triangle on my body for a dress. Now, if you're not really interested in doing a dress, I totally understand that. You know what you'll want to do instead And we're just going to ignore what I have on this piece of paper because I'm just using it over again. So what you're going to do is you'll want to go ahead and trace your circle. And then you can do a smaller triangle for the shirt. And then you can go ahead and make sticks for your legs. You can also make a circle and do a square and another square if you feel like it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself some legs and our legs are like long rectangles. Notice I left some room here. I'm going to need some shoes. My arms are also long rectangles that come all the way up out here over my head. And then I'll give myself a little circle for my hands and another little circle for my thumbs. Why not? And then a long oval for my shoes. Whoa, look at that. Now I got some long curly hair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over here and curve, curve, curve around to make my hair. Whoa, look at that. Give myself some curly hair over here, some ears, some eyes, curve, curve, curve around, maybe a little nose, give myself some eyelashes, and a mouth, maybe some blush. And then superheroes always have a logo. So maybe my logo is a cat, a cat woman. So I'm gonna draw a cat down here for my logo. And then maybe I'll give my dress a little design because superheroes have designs in their clothes. Maybe a bracelet or two. Could put a cape in there. Turn my hair into a little bit of a cape over here. Look at that. Whoa. Some shoelaces. Some socks. And now I can color it however I want to. If you are not feeling a dress and you feel like something else, oh my gosh. And it looks like we may have to draw another person together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my circle again. I'm going to trace my circle. This time I'm going to do a square or rectangle-like shape. Two more long rectangles, some arms out here with these other long rectangles, curve around, curve around for my shoes, curve, 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 curve for the hands, 
Give yourself a crazy looking cape if you want to with a wave at the bottom. Whoa! And then maybe some hair. Some curly hair. Whoa. Some eyes on you too, buddy. Ta-da! You can make your person however you want to. And when you're done, then you'll go ahead and you'll use some crayons to color them in.